What is going on legends? Welcome back to the arena. My name is Spartacus and today I'm going to help you become an aiming master in Apex Legends with the help of Kovacs Aim Trainer. But yeah, let's get into this guys. I'm just going to show you my routine on Kovacs 2.0 FPS Aim Trainer and show you guys a great game I had yesterday. It was uh, one of the best games I've had on PC so far and I'm happy to show you guys and right before we we did the game right before we played we did our routine and i'm telling you guys this has helped me out tremendously especially moving from console to pc using this to help with my aim along with some other useful uh videos i watched on youtube that kind of helped me narrow down my desired uh dpi and everything i'm gonna help you guys out with that today in one simple easy video now i'm gonna show you guys my routine and what i started doing before I hop on Apex, I'm going to show you my settings, the DPI I've been messing around with. And I'm also going to show you my current mouse setup. And I even have the measurements just to get into full detail for you guys. So you can actually see why I have my setup the way I do. And then you can decide if you want something similar or you can test out a bunch of different things and figure it out for yourself because that's the best way to do it. But all right, guys, let's get into this. We're just going to swap over to our other screen. There we go. As you can see here, I got the measurement and I have my uh, other camera more than that. So right here, my workspace is about 13 inches, right? 13 inches might be a little blurry. But anyway, it is 13 inches. This is what I got going on. I mainly keep in right here. I kind of tilt too, I've noticed. I like having full control of my mouse. So I like having... This is the G305, by the way. But I have my pinky right here. My thumb always like on the side. And I have my two fingers on sitting on top ready to go always ready to go that's another thing i don't keep my hands i don't do this i'm always like this as you will see when we start the training that's just like a quick little tip okay i'm going to show you so we watched otter over on youtube and he has had some very great videos lately and he's been very helpful honestly and he actually uploaded his Kovacs routine and he said a lot of the pros are using the pure G Apex routine. But I figured I'd get it, give it a try. And over the last month, I've had Kovacs since May 27th. And over the last month, I have noticed tremendous gains. I've put about 40 to 45 hours in um, I wouldn't say I do an hour before every session, but I do nearly that or around 30 minutes or sometimes I do like 15 minutes just depending how I'm feeling um, and what I'm doing. Like if I change my DPI, I usually stay on a little bit longer or if I change my DPI or my, my sensitivity on uh, the game itself, I will adjust to that um, and I, I want to spend as much time as I can so I don't play in ranked or something and just do terrible. All right, I need to stop rambling. Let's get into this, guys. I'm going to show you the pure G routine because that's what we need to do. Um, but all right, let's get into this. We're going to hit play. And I'll show you my settings really quick. I have this linked also to Apex Legends, which you're going to want to set up as well. Um, you link it to your Apex. And it's a, just an easy drop down. Boom, Apex, Apex. You don't actually have to link like to the game itself. You just want to come... Make sure everything looks the same. You could uh, change your settings in here as well. It goes into more detail. Um, and my current DPI is actually, let's see, on my mouse. I will show you guys. It's on the orange setting. And I'm going to post a picture of that on display for you. You can see that DPI. I play at this. And I just changed to 1.3 recently and i also changed my ads speed that's on apex so i changed that down to one i went from 1.8 down to one and i actually noticed a uh a difference i really did is really noticeable like how some small adjustments can really make the difference 
And playing games like this will help you figure that out. Um, here, really fast. When you first start playing FPS games on mouse and keyboard, you're not really gonna know much about DPI. You're not really gonna, you're gonna think like the highest sensitivity is the best, like that's all the pros and all those players, they do those crazy flicks and they get crazy shots and they just flip around and it's fast. That is honestly the worst thing you can do and start off with. I recommend going as low as you possibly can, but that's totally up to you and with your workspace, like I said earlier. So with my workspace, so starting from the middle, right here, you want it pretty much to turn and be like 180 each way, right? And mine is, that's how I have mine set up. That's my personal preference. And when you go from your like left the right all the way around it's about a 360 and then you become accustomed to that um everyone's different though and you can use that as a guide you know and given your workspace and everything but with my with my area that i have to move that's about what i i like to sit at and i always keep my my chair also gaming chair matters you guys know this but i always keep my chair even with my table my desk rather and my arm is like perfectly straight like my bend is 90 degrees and my elbow and my arm is also straight it's another thing that you want to consider when you're using a mouse i also have a wireless mouse because and when i played with a wired mouse i would get snagged <laughs> sometimes and yeah you can like if you have perfect wire management, maybe you can make that work. But I think having mobility is a huge factor. So take that into consideration also while doing this. And there are a lot of these, so we aren't going to go through every single one, but I'll show you the general idea. And when you're looking at high scores also, you're gonna see a lot of crazy high scores. Don't, don't, Think bad of yourself if you're not hitting these high scores. You don't have to break every single record. And you, the only person you should really be, you know, competing against is yourself. Make sure that you're, you know, beating your high scores. Make sure you're improving every time you play. And if you're not improving, if you're getting worse, adjust your settings as needed. And then see if that helps. And constantly be practicing. I've spent, like I said, about 45 hours in this game. And I have noticed a, I've definitely noticed a difference. I'm landing more wingman shots. I'm landing more sniper shots. My tracking is better and it's getting better. It's continually getting better. And you will be able to reach your potential faster than most other people. Most other people aren't going to be doing these aim trainers. They're just gonna be practicing in game, which is great and all, but you're not always in a game of Apex Legends. You're not always in the fight. You're not always in action. And if you're coming from console to PC, then you're still, you're still used to like using the controller. And you're not at the same skill level as a lot of these other players who have put thousands and thousands of hours in. Yeah, you might have the game knowledge, but then putting that into work on a mouse and keyboard is a whole lot different. And an aim trainer like this, Kovacs, this is completely perfect for you to use, and it will help you out tremendously in the long run. And I have noticed a difference. I have noticed a difference. Last season, I started in bronze and ranked. And when I started using the aim trainer towards the end of the season, it or the split rather, I started flying through the ranks <laughs> and I was getting more kills, my aim was more consistent and I just felt all around better. And yes, they added the arena now in Apex and that's pretty much, you can hop in, get constant action that whole time, but it's also different too. It's not the same. This is designed by professional players for specific reasoning this will help you in arenas. This will help you in Battle Royale. This will help you in every single game that you play on PC. But this will help you reach your genetic potential. Whatever your genetic potential is in FPS games and PC gaming, this will help you reach it much quicker than actually putting more hours into the game. Hours on top of practice. 
It's the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. Some games you'll be able to move around and you get more points as you move also. If you do your side strafes and everything, you match up, you're constantly hitting. Uh, you'll get more points for that. But some games you are 100% stationary. And see, right there, we just beat another high score. We're in the top 53 percentile. Nice. Let me restart it. And you can simply restart. You just go into this little menu. You double click. Boom. Restarts it for you. So you don't have to stop the playlist. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just double click it. It's easy. Not every run is going to be perfect. As long as you try, though, each time, that will make you better. I wouldn't overdo it. On this because that'll just kind of make you tired my hand has gotten tired from doing the aim trainers before you will notice though your muscles in your hand oh my god they will get stronger you'll get quicker you'll be able to do like tracking for longer you'll be able to pull your mouse back faster if you guys have any questions about any of these two, if you have any issues with them, just uh, feel free to put that in the comments, like whatever issues you have, or if you can't access this, uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment below. And also, if you guys are having great success with Kovacs, let me know, let me know. Put that down in the comments, let's hear it. We want to hear, you know, your success. And if you got a 4K badge or 20 kill on Apex, definitely put that in the comment section. All right, legends, I didn't expect the routine to take as long as it did. It took us about an hour to finish, but that's about how much time I do spend on this before I do play. Um, in some situations, depending how I'm feeling, I won't do it as much, but since I just recently changed my uh, settings, I really focused in and started like get in the groove we beat a few high scores which is really awesome you always want to aim to beat your previous high scores you're always competing with yourself that's something you want to remember uh don't look at the top 100 that's the top 100 right that's not you can get to the top 100 don't get me wrong but some of that is i, I wouldn't always trust the top 100 let's just say that but I'm not saying it's impossible, okay? So you could definitely do it, and your potential might be even higher than mine. But this will help you get there faster. And I'm telling you that. Change your settings as needed. Um, I showed you guys the measurements earlier. Do what you gotta do. Uh, figure out what feels best for you. And yeah, you should notice improvement in your gameplay. And I'm gonna show you guys some awesome gameplay now. We almost got... I shouldn't say it. I'm just gonna let you guys watch it, okay? Here, check this video out. Let's go, baby. Oh, I got stuck. Yes! Let's go! Oh!
No! 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 I had him!
We're having a good time. We could have got the 4K, but oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, it was amazing! Great game. My first 3K on Redmond on PC. Let's go! Hell yeah, on Kings Canyon. Oh my God, that's hype. I'm sorry, that's hype. Even though I didn't get the 4K, let's go. Oh, it was a great game. It was a great game, baby. Look at that. 3k damage in a single game. I could have got a 4k if I would have played that smarter. I thought he was by himself. I should have remembered that that was a full team. Damn it. Ah, oh, great game. Great game. 